German global insurer and asset management company Allianz is set up to acquire controlling stakes in the general insurance segment of Jubilee Holdings businesses in five countries. Allianz will pay 10.8 billion shillings in the deal that is subject to a host of regulatory approvals. Alex Mwangi reports. Then we'll also give you a statement. Talks between Jubilee Holdings and Allianz concerning this deal have been going on for at least four years. You know that um, Jubilee is not an easy company um, for anybody to uh, merge with or to buy because we have had so many uh, international companies wanting to get together with us. You are even aware of some of this and uh, we have resisted. The deal is valued at 10.8 billion shillings and will result in Allianz becoming a joint shareholder with Jubilee Holdings in five general insurance subsidiaries of Jubilee Holdings, holding between 51% and 66% in each company. The subsidiaries are based in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi and Mauritius. Since the deal involves a subsidiary of Jubilee Holdings, there is no effect on the parent company's listing at the Nairobi Securities Exchange. I can tell you that right now that no person is going to be made redundant, nobody is going to get a, a salary cut or anything like that. Over the last five years, Allianz has escalated its interest in investing in Africa. I asked Conrad Vrolik, the chief executive officer of Allianz in Africa, where this deal ranks when compared to others in the continent. We have uh, bought a business in Morocco, we've bought a business in Nigeria, uh, and now we're buying these shares in the Jubilee General companies in the five countries that the Jubilee General is active in. Um, this ranks in between the two others. There's a bigger one and a smaller one. The general insurance subsidiaries make up 12.3% of Jubilee Holdings net assets. <laughs> Allianz's deal with Jubilee Holdings will see it take up a two-thirds stake in the general insurance subsidiaries, giving it an 8% stake in Jubilee Holdings. Allianz is active in over 70 countries and has annual revenues exceeding 18 trillion shillings. At the moment, we have uh, well over 100 million customers around the world, uh, with several million of them already in Africa. The deal is subject to regulatory approvals in Kenya and the four other jurisdictions. Alex Mwangi, NTV.